friends, good morning. Hey, have you ever had to prove something? Earlier this week, we had just gotten some peaches and one of my kids really wanted a peach, but they weren't ripe yet. They weren't ready to eat. And so I had to prove to him, show him, hey, feel this peach, feel how hard it is. It's not ready to eat yet. It's not soft enough for us to eat. Now, this wasn't that hard to prove, right? I could show him the peach, he could feel the peach, he could even put his teeth on the peach and feel, oh, that's too hard for me to bite into. But some things are not as easy to prove, right? How would you prove, if I asked you, could you prove to me that the earth is round. Now, I know that we know the earth is round, but just because that we know something doesn't mean that it's easy to prove it. Could you prove to me on your own that the earth is round? What about, how would you prove to me that gravity exists? Now, we know that gravity exists, but how would you prove it? And what about this one? How would you prove to me that water is wet? We know that water is wet, but how do you prove to someone water is wet? Right, that's a funny one. So in this week's lesson, we are continuing all through the month of August with our Kings of Summer series, and we are continuing to learn about the Kings of Israel. And this week we are learning about a king named King Ahab. Now King Ahab was not a very nice king, and he did not follow God. King Ahab followed a different God, an idol, called Baal, and Baal was, was not the true God, right? And in this week's story, we see the prophet Elijah as he proves to King Ahab and to the prophets of Baal that God is the true God. Now, this is a really cool story because again, just because we know something is true doesn't mean it's easy to prove that it is true. And yet Elijah proves in this story that God is the one true God. So I am not going to tell you that whole story, but that is what this week's lesson is for. So whether you're joining us in the sanctuary or at home or downstairs in our kids classes, you can learn more about this lesson. You'll be learning about it today if you're in our kids classroom. And it is really cool. So I hope you'll check that out and I will see you next time. Bye.